This is Matrix Lord 212, and I haven't really done single videos in a while, with the exception of my morning with Matrix Lord and all those videos. But I did want to talk about the Inhumans. Now, I've talked about this many times on my channel, um, that it was a bad idea to have an Inhumans movie. I've stated that. I even went as far as said that I predicted that the movie would be canceled and would never happen. Now, I make a lot of predictions over the years, and a lot of the times, most of my stuff comes true. Um, and that is a huge prediction to say that that movie was never going to happen. Um, but that's also from my knowledge with the comics. Now, if you know the comics, my perspective uh, of the comics is that... Um, Marvel had tried to eliminate the heat, the pop, the popularity of the X-Men because the X-Men were in 20th Century Fox, the movie rights. So they tried to make Inhumans above the X-Men where they just expected to force feed everyone into going with the Inhumans and they tried to kill off a lot of different X-Men characters. Cyclops, they killed Wolverine off before, they killed off Deadpool, which wasn't part of the X-Men, but they tried to, anybody that had the rights to these things, they tried to kill off. And then their sales went to the toilet and then they had to bring characters back because at the end of the day, you still have to maintain a business and to eliminate about half your characters and then still expect you, for you to have the same profitability is a little bit ridiculous and extreme. So they did su such things as when someone wanted to call for help, they're like, call Spider-Man, call the Avengers, call the Inhumans, which they would never, nobody would ever think to call the Inhumans. Um, yes, they were around for many, many decades, but they were never as popular as the Fantastic Four or the Avengers or anybody else. So to force feed the Inhumans upon people to take the place of their one of their favorite teams was disastrous. They tried to do Inhumans versus X-Men and people were pissed off, okay? And now, because of that negativity and the thing that Marvel Comics created, they expected that the Inhumans, being that it could be made into a movie, that they could do a series out of it and people would love it. Well, even if there was Inhumans fans, um, and people did like the Inhumans. Once they started doing that crap in the comics that they tried to make it where they were going to be better than the X-Men or replace the X-Men, people had a negative thing against the Inhumans. Even I, who thought the Inhumans were okay, they were cool, never had a problem with the Inhumans, when they tried to do that, even though I was like, ah, I don't want to see the Inhumans for a while. I don't want to have anything to do with the Inhumans. I don't want to, like, whatever. That was disgusting what they did. And... What did you think was going to happen? Um, we hear things that Marvel wanted to go cheap, which when did Marvel ever go cheap? So you're willing to put out a garbage product and ruin the name of Marvel Studios, Marvel Comics, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like, you know, DC Marvel relationship. Um, and basically, I know that this is a TV series, okay, but they're putting in an IMAX, which is, you know, people will confuse with the MCU, um, even though it is part of it, even though it's not a movie. But my whole thing is that if it's going to be, why create your first failure? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know that this is going to be a failure, which it is, because even the press conference was bad People were bashing the director. People were bashing the special effects. People were bashing everything. Even people that worked on on the show was bashing the show or saying stuff that call Marvel out that they wanted to cheap or whatever. Don't release it. Don't release. I mean, IMAX now is upset, and they're starting to be like, "Ah, oh, we don't want to release this for two weeks. How dare you do this to us? We when we think of Marvel, we think of a high caliber." And I'm 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 paraphrasing here, but. They're saying, you know, you're always giving us great product. Now you're giving us crap, and why should we promote that? We Maybe we won't trust you in the future to put out good product. I mean, maybe you're going to start putting out failures. So rather than this be the first failure on TV, the first Marvel thing to get canceled, don't release it. Chalk it up to a tax write-off. Don't release it in IMAX. Don't release it on TV. I mean, you're moving up Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to compensate. You're, you're making deals, putting the Jetsons out, whatever the thing to try to distract away or have a series to try to replace the humans maybe or maybe right after impact the blow. Film something now. Do Agent a card or don't tell anybody. Put something in the place of Inhumans 
and make it like it never happened. People will forget after a while, or people will question what happened to it. If they want it so bad, if there's a demand for it, let them buy it on DVD and Blu-ray. Put it right to blue, blue DVD and Blu-ray. There's, there's movies like Chucky that were great in the movies, and then they want them going just to DVD, and it does phenomenal on DVD, you know? It's not considered a failure. I mean, it's doing well, you know? So put it directly to DVD and Blu-ray, and then people are like, what happened? And just say, you know, it didn't work out. That's it. Don't go into details. Don't, like, character analyze everything. Sometimes things don't work out. So don't release it. Don't. It will be the biggest mistake you've ever done, Marvel. Because then what's going to happen is you're going to have pressure from Disney because you're going to be recognized as having a failure. Now, of course, eventually you're going to have a failure. But if you know you have a failure on your hands with this, just don't release it. Cancel the IMAX. Do something on IMAX. Give them something else, a replacement. Create something now to replace the Inhumans. Or just for IMAX and maybe something for ABC. Do something. Do a mini series. Um, that, that would take the place that looked like an episode count or something, you know? But do not release the Inhumans. Bad idea. And and if you ever want the Inhumans to be popular again, you got to cleanse the bad reputation that you created with the Inhumans with the comics where you tried to make them kill the X-Men or take over the X-Men popularity. And it's just not going to work. You can't do that sometimes. It pisses people off. Um, and I got to tell you, like, I, I started getting the, the Marvel Generations... And I did love the Jean Grey one. I didn't read the Wolverine one yet, but I felt very disrespected when it came to the Hulk generations because I felt that they should have had on the title the original Hulk or just the Hulk because nobody signifies She-Hulk as the Hulk. That's one. So don't think you're offending her. And two, with Wolverine, you called him Wolverine. And then you said all new Wolverine on the top. So that's disrespectful to not say the Hulk. Nobody recognizes him as Banner Hulk. Nobody calls him Banner Hulk. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. You need to call him the Hulk or the original Hulk. And I think that's the biggest mistake I've ever seen from Marvel. And also, I didn't really enjoy that comic either that well. Because I felt that it was just ridiculous. And if you want to see my reaction to that, just watch the Everything Show. But other than that, Jean Grey was the perfect, perfect Generations book. And I'm going to read Wolverine today. So, And I'm going to get all of them. Because I'm a huge Marvel fan. And you could be a huge Marvel fan and you could critique your company. Because if you don't give them criticism and you say everything's perfect and dandy, then they're going to be popping out failures. And I don't want that. I love Marvel Comics enough to say when they do wrong things. Or when I think they do wrong things. And it's not sugar-coated. It's not 10 out of 10s. It's, I like this, I don't like this. I love this, I hate this. And that's the way it needs to be in society. You can't always put out videos just positive, positive, positive. And not that it's not positive, but you need to give... You need to hold your companies accountable that you love. You need to, like, you know, if you don't want a Star Wars thing, if you don't want Jabba the Hutt the movie, which I really don't, you need to say, stop, slow down. You know, the MCU phases is not going to work with Star Wars. You can't just put out movies just to put out movies. And you're going to have bombs there too. So speak your mind when you're making your videos. Don't worry about anybody else's opinion. And just say what comes from the heart. And that's what I'm saying, basically. No Inhumans. Take care. Bye for now.